Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be me reviewing and doing like a first impressions of the new MAC Roller Wheel Liquid Eyeliners. So they did send these to me, so I did just receive these. Um, so I'm gonna kinda do like a first impression slash review of them, a little demo, see how they work. I'm pretty sure this is like the first of its kind. So this is a little eyeliner and it has a little wheel on the end of it. Um, that spins when you touch it to your skin, so it just kind of it's like a little pizza cutter. Also inside of it is like a little, it's, I don't know, it's just so weird. That's where you dip it in and it kind of gets excess product off of it. Just a little rubber stopper, I guess. So this one is matte and then this one is a, this is not matte, I guess. Um, this is called Rollin' Black Shine and then this one is just called On A Roll Black. Yeah, so I am going to use the matte one there's a little shaker in it. I am going to use the matte one in this video because I don't like eyeliners that have a shine to them. I I don't know why they even make them because I think it does not look good on anybody. Um, a matte eyeliner is honestly the best look you can go for. So I did do some like playing with it. <laughs> Wes. So I was playing with it earlier, just messing around. Ooh! Um, I did write my name. Um, I feel like this would be good. This is really good for like straight lines. Um, really good for like, I feel like it'd be good for like some kind of like art on your face like makeup art or something to put um, something to have straight lines with like a pop art look um, I did see Crispy's review of this I think that was the only one I've seen and she had she struggled with it um, because it's very different um, and it just grew and grew and got bigger and bigger so let's hope that doesn't happen I am gonna try it on the lash line right here but honestly I don't think it'll it's good for that at all I'm going to do one eye with that and then one eye without doing that. I feel like since this is really good for straight lines, let me just draw a little bit of a little something something for you guys. So this is like really good for drawing straight lines. Like, like I'm going to play some tic-tac-toe. Let me draw like a, a box. I can show you guys. Like. Like the lines are very straight. It's it's pigmented. It's dark. So I feel like this would be best for just doing the wing part for the flick and then bringing it in. And I feel like the rest of it should be used with a like a liquid liner that's like a felt tip or like a brush tip or something like that. So I am coming at you with no makeup on, bare face, all the scruff. I'm just you know chilling today. I uh, just wanted to put, do a review on this real quick, not do like a full face of makeup. Um, so it doesn't really, my makeup doesn't really matter because the video is about the eyeliner. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and I'm going to test this out. I haven't tried it on my eyes yet, just did some swatches. Alright, so once again, the thing looks like a little pizza cutter. Very interesting. Alright guys, so I'm just going to go with it. Um, so with this side I'm going to do, I'm going to line the lash line and do the whole wing with this. Actually, I don't normally line my lash line first, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I feel like it would be inconvenient with this. So what I'm going to do is just do the flick and drag it in like I would normally do my eyeliner, because that is how I normally do it. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm scared. Ooh, that was a little high. Ooh, <laughs> well, no, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna drag it back in. It gets like weird right here. See how it skips? That does not look that bad though. Oh my gosh. Wow. Huh. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to dip it one more time. Because I feel like it's kind of getting a little bit dry. Let me try and fix this a little bit. Since I'm doing the wing first, I can kind of just scribble in the side of the lines. They don't have to be super precise. 
Alright, well now to the inner corner. This is gonna be a little bit tricky, I feel like. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Excuse my language. It's starting to grow. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad though. See, that's why I don't bring my liner that high. Because you see how it goes in my fold? Because I have hooded eyelids. This is why I don't bring it high I kind of bring it out a little bit more so here's the wing it could be a lot cleaner um, I'm just keep my eye like this because I open it like this that's what happens it goes in my fold and it like gets distorted so yeah like this this actually looks pretty good I feel like the more that you would use this it would get easier and easier every time but I mean that's pretty straight if you struggle with liner you could give this a try I'm not sure this would be harder or easier to VH, um, but it's worth a try if you like. Because it is a wheel, so it does kind of just go in one direction. It doesn't turn, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm going to do the other side, and I'm actually going to fill it in with like a felt tip or whatever liner. Um, I'm just going to do the wing part, like the flick, with this. That's more of the angle I like. Do you see the difference? That's way too high. Cut in the fold. Right. Wow. This would be really good for graphic liner. I'm actually impressed. So before I mess this up, I'm just going to grab a liquid liner. Um, this is the Balm Schwing Liner, if you like. Yes, the packaging's like all destroyed, but it's just a nice felt tip. So I'm just going to finish the rest of the wing with this. All right, so here's what we're working with. It is a pretty good wing. Um, I would honestly wear that out. Um, it could be a little better but that's okay and when you see what i'm talking about about the fold of my eye how this one kind of goes underneath it and this one gets stuck in it so we have hooded lids there's a tip not to bring it up so high i don't think this is the greatest for doing the lash line but i do think this is really cool and would help a lot to do the flick of the wing and the flick of the wrist the flick of the wing to drag it back in so what i would recommend is to do the flick of the wing and then just drag it in with this not i, I wouldn't do all the way to the inner corner maybe about like a third of the way like i did and i would suggest filling the rest in with a different eyeliner that's like a brush or a felt tip i used three because some of these were dry because i haven't done liner in forever so you've seen how much of a straight line it can get um, it's dark, it's pigmented. Um, I was rubbing these earlier and they do stay on like the new ones right here. I mean, they're not moving, do you see that? I feel like you would need this in combination with another liner, but I think together it would look really cool. All right guys, so that is my thoughts, my review, my little demo of the pinwheel liner. The pizza cutter liner, people are calling it. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. Share it wherever you want, with whoever you want. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, comment down below if you guys have tried this, or your thoughts on it, or if you think this is cool. Or if you agree that this is good for the flick. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.